Hello everybody, it is I, the Great Clement, and uh, right now I just figured I'd like to do a video about uh, Silver the Hedgehog. If you're not familiar because uh, you're just kind of going chronologically with my Sonic series and you haven't actually been following the Sonic series, um, Silver the Hedgehog is a character that is introduced in Sonic 06. He's a character from the far distant future where the world is destroyed and Silver is a pretty cool hedgehog, I must say so myself. He has psychic powers. He can turn objects green and manipulate them with his mind. He's got a funky hairdo, if I do say so myself. And, uh, as of right now, he's voiced by Quentin Flynn, who does the voice for Raiden in the Metal Gear Solid series, and, uh... You know, Silver gets a lot of flack, I won't lie. Silver the Hedgehog, a lot of people kind of associate him with Sonic 06, and you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Sonic 06, I will not lie. It kind of ruins my chi, it's not, uh, it's not what I consider a, a stellar Sonic entry. But you know, I got nothing against Silver. Silver is the fucking bomb. Silver is like one of the best characters to ever come out of the Sonic franchise. I really dig Silver the Hedgehog's chi, you know? I really dig his energy. Of all the Sonic characters, Silver has this energy about him that makes him so fun and so fresh, you know? He rarely gets depressed. He never doubts himself like a Tails might. He's not stupid like Knuckles. You know, he's not very grumpy like Shadow. But he's not very cocky and and kind of rude like Sonic can be sometimes, you know? Silver just has that, that fine balance of being like a paragon of justice, a very optimistic, happy-go-lucky hedgehog, you know? He's a pretty cool guy, this Silver. And I don't know, I just, I just felt like sharing my love for Silver because, you know, I don't like the game he came from, but outside of Sonic 06, Silver's a pretty awesome dude, you know? I like his values, I like his art design, I really love his hair, you know? Silver's got funky hair. I really wonder what Sonic Team was smoking when they came up with his hair. I don't think we'll ever know, but, you know, I look at Silver's hair and I wonder... How do they come up with this stuff? How do you get that... That five-pointed hairstyle? What looks like that? You know, when Silver manipulates objects with his mind and he, like, throws them around and stuff? They turn green. He turns everything green. Silver's color is kind of like... He's white and silverish, but everything he touches turns green. I wonder what Silver would have been like if he was green, you know? I think him being green and that hairstyle would have gone perfectly together. That's what I think, anyway. You know, right now I'm drinking water. Water is the purest form of liquid you could ever have on this planet Earth. It, it sustains us. It... it got us through the worst times of our of our life I assume I wasn't there I, I was born in 1988 so I don't know what the world was like before that I assume it was you know less technologically awesome but water man water is so good it tastes so good But as Silver the Hedgehog would say, It's no juice! It's no juice! <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, I'm sorry. I just thought that was funny. I had to share that. I get a lot of mail from, uh, a lot of fan mail from people. And uh, a lot of people say that they like my laughing. A lot of people say that uh, I shouldn't laugh because it's very obnoxious. Because there are people out there who, who think it's a little bit uh, 
cocky and condescending if you laugh at your own jokes and stuff. I wish I could control that, but I really can't. I mean, it's just something I've kind of lived with my whole life. I tend to think that some of the things I say can be funny, and I'll laugh out loud after saying it, you know? That's just the kind of guy I am. I like to laugh, you know? I don't think you should hide your laughter. I think you should always be allowed to laugh whenever uh, the, the need suits you, you know? Women always tell me that uh, I have a very good laugh, which, uh, you know, that pleases me. Anytime a woman compliments me on my laugh, it always, it always fills my heart and makes me, you know, happy. And I, I like to be happy. It's always good to be happy, you know what I mean? And if guys, you know, tell me they like my laugh, I'm cool with that too. I'm not a homosexual myself, but, you know, I got nothing against homosexuals. They're cool people. They should be allowed to love whoever they want to love, you know? I would be a hypocrite to hate on gay people. Because I love lesbians. At least, I love watching lesbians late at night. Nothing, I'm not ashamed of that. I got nothing against you. Whatever your gender orientation, whether you like My Little Pony, it doesn't matter. You're all cool guys, in my opinion. I'm not a hater, you know? I'm a Canadian. Canadians, we're not really bred to hate. We're a cool, we're a cool people. I like to think so. Just like I think Silver's a pretty cool guy. I don't think Silver would get angry all that much. I think Silver would be having fun like he is here, swinging on the poles, you know? Silver's a cool guy. I am incredibly hungry. I haven't eaten yet. Kinda just woke up. I feel like having a bag of chips, you know? I mean, it's always good to eat healthy, you know? You wanna exercise whenever you can. Maybe have a few vegetables here and there. You always wanna have milk and cheese to uh, make your bones stronger. But sometimes, you know, I'm always good for junk food. I always love just pigging out every now and then. I could go for a bag of Doritos right now. My preferred brand of Doritos? I've always been partial to Zesty Doritos. Zesty Doritos are the best. Seriously. I like regular nacho Doritos, you know? Those taste good. But Zesty? Mmm. If I ever have a bag of Zesty Doritos, I will eat the whole bag. You know? It's weird, I can eat and eat and eat, but like, I don't get fat. I'm a very skinny guy. I have a very awesome, very epic metabolism, you know? I'm thankful for my metabolism. I couldn't ask for a better metabolism. I'm so thin, and no matter how much junk food I eat, or how little exercise I do, I always seem to have a good body shape. I always stay slim. I mean, it doesn't always work out in my favor, you know? I can't really pick up women. They tell me I'm I'm very bony. That was cool. That was cool. I like that. <laughs> they tell me I'm, I'm a little bit bony, you know? So I can't really pick up women all that much. Not most women, anyway. Some women don't mind, or at least they don't tell me. Because they're all nice like that. You gotta be nice, you know? You can't be negative. You can't be spreading all this negative energy. I'm sorry for the past month with Shadow the Hedgehog, you know? I'm not a fan of Shadow, but, you know, some people like it. People tell me, you know, they enjoy what it was, you know? And that's cool. If you like Shadow, praise be to you, my friends. Love Shadow if you want, you know? Who am I to tell you that it's a bad game? Well, if you like Sonic 06, you know... I don't get it, but hey, if you like Sonic 06, you like Sonic 06. That's cool. Whatever. I think Silver's gameplay in Sonic 06 could have been pretty good if they just tweaked it a little bit. You know what I'm always reminded of when I play Silver's gameplay? Star Wars The Force Unleashed. 
That game's fantastic. If you haven't played Star Wars The Force Unleashed, get on that, because that is a fantastic game. You can pick up objects with the Force, which is kind of like Silver's psychokinetic power. It's great! You can manipulate stormtroopers and spin them in circles with the analog stick. It's so fun! If Silver had a more easy-to-use melee function and stuff, he'd be a pretty awesome character, I think. He could have his own spin-off series. Because he's from the future, you know? It'd be like Mega Man Classic and Mega Man X, only it's Sonic and then it's future character Silver. Taking the fight to Eggman Nega. I'd play that series. I think that'd be a kick-ass series. He'd be a great standalone hero, you know? Silver's a cool guy. Silver is a cool guy. I like to think so. I understand today is a pretty special day for some people. It's not a holiday. It's not a national day, you know, it's not Canada Day or or United Kingdom Day. Or President's Day or anything. No. Today's very special well, it might be a good day for Jamaica. I think Jamaica would really like today. <laughs> Honest to God, true story. I I went to Jamaica two years ago. In fact, I had a contest, and we had that whole Rocket Knight Adventures LP that I did because of that contest. You guys might remember that if you've been subscribed to me for a while, but uh, I went to Jamaica for a week. Honest to God, first time I stepped into Jamaica, I got out of the airport, I went up to the bus that was going to take us to our, to my hotel, and the bus driver was like, hey, man, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? He's like shaking my hand, being all friendly and stuff. And I was like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? What's up? And he goes, hey, you're, having, you're gonna have fun in Jamaica, man. And I'm like, oh yeah, I plan on it. He's like, you, you want some drugs, man? <laughs> Honest to God truth. Honest to God, I'm not making that up. I swear on my grandfather's grave. <laughs> Everything else in this video is m meant to be a joke. I admit that. But th that thing I just said right now, that is absolutely 100% true. The first time I went to Jamaica, the bus driver, not two minutes after I stepped on Jamaican soil, asked me if I wanted weed. That's, that's something else. So if you, know, if you want an easy access to weed or marijuana, go to Jamaica. Because Jamaica is very uh, pretty cool with that stuff, I guess. And that's why they would like today, because I think 420 is some kind of holiday for something like that, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Ah, oh, look at this radical highway. This is in the Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games. It's fun stuff, you know. Look at Silver. He's a jack of all trades. He can snowboard. He's got a great personality. He's got psychic powers. You gotta put him back into a main Sonic game again that's, you know, not as bad as Sonic 06. Silver could really become a hit character if they just give him the right vehicle, you know? I like Silver. He's an awesome dude. He's an, aw he's an awesome dude, you know? There's too much negativity going on in the Sonic universe, you know? I'm going into the Dark Age of Sonic soon, and I, I don't want there to be too much negativity, because, you know, whatever I think of the upcoming games, guys, remember, I love Sonic. It's a fantastic series. We'll always love it. I have Microsoft Points saved up for Sonic 4 Episode 2. That one is looking pretty awesome as well. Cannot wait. And thank you to the 20,000 or so subscribers I have right now. You guys, you guys are the best, you know? You guys are awesome. I thank you, you know? I'm on break right now, but when I come back... You know, you're going to be seeing some pretty uh, high-quality vids, I hope. I hope so. I'll try and do my best, you know? Just keep an upbeat attitude like Silver the Hedgehog, and you should do pretty fine. Should do pretty fine. Oh, folks, I just wanted to make this little update video, you know? Just wanted to talk about Silver. Just wanted to chat with you guys, because, you know, I just felt like it. Have fun, y'all. Have a good day.
Okay, I think I'm seriously tripping balls right now. <laughs> <laughs>